while since I've made a video. I wanted to share with you today some of the things that I've learned, maybe the hard way, over the course of the last several weeks in putting together this 8020 frame for our cabinets. So uh, we're just getting ready, as you can see the cardboard up there, start templating this out uh, to start putting up uh, laminated plywood. Lots of different ways to attach, but nothing in the van is square for the most part. Even down here toward the bottom, um, it's really not that square once you start getting up above about 18, 20 inches or so from the, from the bottom on the wall. And of course, 80, 20 really wants to be square. Um, it's, it's all made for 90 degree angles. There's a couple different ways of being able to do this. One I found on the Ford Transit Forum uh, the other one I, I just uh, took it upon myself to do, which is these shims that you see up here at the top. And one of the things that I found to be super helpful in doing this is to get a digital level. Um, really need to be probably within a degree, if not less, uh, to get the 8020 to match up. Otherwise, you know, even like on the ceiling, like my ceiling up here has got about a eight degree angle, um, the 80-20 will pull up to that. And then your next uh, member that you tried to add to it will be a, you know, matching up to that angle. And then you don't get these nice 90 degree squares so that you want for the cabinets. Um, so this digital level has been really nice. Um, I've got the, uh, the van parked, um, you know, perpendicular to the slope of the driveway, but when I was parked this way at about a half, uh, half a degree to a degree of tilt that I had to deal with uh, because the driveway was tilted for drainage. Uh, so just be aware, take a couple different measurements. Um, also be aware that the floor is not necessarily level in all spots. Um, I did take uh, measurements from the floor. Um, the cabinets we have that's going to be above the bed here, you can see I used uh, two um, 90 angle brackets, uh, 80, 20 angle brackets. And this I found on the Ford Transit Forum. <laughs> it really is ingenious if it can work for you. Here you've got an infinite number of adjustments. So you can put this along the wall and get this to adjust however you need to, to be able to get to the you know, 90 degree um, from perpendicular. To, uh, the only issue with this is it drops everything down, which was perfect for these cabinets. But up here, when I put in my plus nuts, I had planned for my lighting and I had planned for the distance. And so I didn't have the room to be able to bump this out any further. Otherwise, I was going to be covering my lights. And so had to come up with a, a different solution. I use the chop saw to be able to cut these wedges. Uh, this is a 10 degree wedge. Uh, this is a 6.1 degree wedge. And I used a solid one and a half by one and a half aluminum bar stock for this. I bought a 12 inch section off of Amazon. I think it was about 20 bucks or so. Uh, first cut this uh, using the chop saw and then I used a drill press and to be able to get these holes in center. And be careful when you're using the drill press, these things will rotate. So some sort of clamp is, is needed. Um, don't try to hold it with your hand. They are sharp if they start to move around. This is what the wedges look like up at the top. Um, I'm gonna have my cabinetry come up and basically seal this off so you won't see this. Uh, one of the things I did find it was I needed to go a couple degrees larger uh, than when I just put the level up to the ceiling in order to be able to really get at 90. And the way I would test that is I would put the shim in, I would tighten it, and then I would measure to see, you know, where my, what my angle is. And then and then adjust again if need be. This technique is quite a bit more difficult in terms of machining. Um, you notice that I had to uh, machine or cut, drill a hole through the 8020, and then drill a larger hole 
not only to be able to get the bolt up through, um, I did use hex heads, you could use a hex head Allen. It might make it a little bit simpler, but I did make this a little bit larger so I could get a socket in here as well. Then if you're doing this, um, you need to be precise on where these are gonna be. Whereas with this technique, this can slide back and forth. You don't have to be very precise. Um, didn't realize this when I was putting in my plus nuts or otherwise I might have moved this in a little bit further to accommodate for this light and uh, and then use the angle brackets all around and so I wasn't able to do that on these front edges. thing with the cabinets here, um, our sink is going to be here. We didn't want to have our cabinetry come all the way out to the edge of our you know, of our galley. And the reason for that is that if you're standing here, you don't want to be facing the cabinet. You want to have a little bit of delta so you don't hit your head and you have a little bit of visibility down to the ditches. dishes. Um, so a couple of considerations when you're putting together the cabinetry and the plans. That's why we have this offset for the deeper cabinets for above the bed versus the shallower cabinets here above the kitchen galley. Um, over here is where we have our refrigerator is going to be and similarly similar to um, over on the other side you use the angle brackets to attach both at the base and also up here towards the top and then what i've not done at this point is i'm planning on these front edges to drill through the floor use an angle bracket and go through the floor uh, to be able to make sure that the front edge is secure so it doesn't jump up and down when you're going down a really bumpy road. Well, different videos I plan on taking. Uh, we're in the process of uh, doing our LPG lines. You can see the copper back here behind the wall. And then I'm also using some expansion PEX A um, tubing to be able to uh, do our water system. Um, I'll go through that uh, in another video. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps. I know I didn't find a ton of videos as you get closer to the end of your van build. Um, there's plenty on Max Air Fans. There's just not a lot as you start to get toward the end here that I could find. So hopefully maybe the planning and being able to find ways to attach and make sure that everything is truly square as well.